Hello Highland Lacrosse Athletes, this is an IXL support video to help you with the 7th grade assignment called C3, the one that's on add integers. So we've just spent a couple assignments working on the idea or some of the rules for how we can add or combine numbers when we have negative numbers in addition to positive numbers. They use this term integers and all that integers means is a fancy word to say whole numbers that can be positive or negative. And there are three basic scenarios whenever we have to add whole numbers that are positive or negative, whenever we have to add negative numbers. We could have a positive added with a positive. That's this first scenario. It's something you've done your whole life, and you know whenever you add two positives, it just gets bigger and stays positive. The second one, pretty straightforward. If you combine or add up two negative numbers, they're just going to combine to make a number that is even more negative. It's just like adding two positive numbers except on the negative side of the world. So if I have negative three plus negative five, if I borrow three dollars and then I borrow another five dollars, in total I've borrowed eight dollars or I'm at negative eight. In the last scenario, now that we have negative numbers, sometimes you're going to be adding or combining where one of them is positive and the other one is negative. And in that scenario, these numbers, they're going to really fight against each other. These are opposites. When you put a positive with a negative, each positive unit is going to cancel out the negative, and the winner is going to be whoever has the bigger absolute value, whoever has more units, positive or negative, behind them. So if I were to do 3 plus negative 5, if I had $3, but then I borrow something more than I have, I borrow $5, I'm going to now be in the negatives. I'm going to now owe $2. But if I were to borrow $3, and then pay the bank back five dollars now I'm in the positives I paid them back more than I borrowed I paid them back two extra dollars so negative three plus five is positive so again whenever you add a positive with a negative it depends they'll cancel each other out and then the bigger absolute value will win sometimes our first example here says add negative four plus four and sometimes we're going to find when we combine a positive with a negative, or in this case, a negative with a positive, if they have the same absolute value, negative 4 and positive 4, that's like borrowing $4 and paying $4 back. They're going to cancel each other out. They're total opposites. They get us back to zero. Second example they give us. It says add. 5 plus negative 3. This is an example of adding or combining a positive 5 combined with a negative 3. So each negative unit is going to cancel out a positive unit, but an even easier way to think about this problem, whenever I see add a negative, I could really understand that adding a negative number is just like subtracting. 5 plus negative 3 is the same thing, or is going to give us the same result as 5 minus 3 it's going to leave us with a positive answer, positive 2. Alright, our next example. They say add or combine negative 3 with negative 5. And whenever I add up two negative numbers, I'm going to combine them to make a number that is even more negative. And by random chance, the IXL problem that came up, negative 3 plus negative 5, is the same as the example I've been referring to here. If 3 plus 5 makes 8, negative 3 plus negative 5, the opposite side of the world, is just going to give us negative 8. Next up is another example. They say add negative 3 plus negative 1. And my brain sees this as I'm just combining two negative numbers. So I'm going to add them up. 3 and 1 would give me 4. So negative 3 and negative 1, now I'd have 4 negative numbers in total. Or if I borrow $3 and I borrow another $1, I've borrowed $4 in total. Next example, a little different. This time they say add 4 plus negative 9. So here I have a positive number combined with a negative number. So I have positive 4 plus negative 9. So they're going to cancel each other out. There's a few ways to think about this. I know that 9 minus 4 would be 5. So 4 minus 9, really the opposite's going to make 
negative 5. Another way to think about this is if we had had a number line, if I'm at positive 4 and I'm taking 9 away, I first need to take 4 away to get to 0. I need to take 5 more away because 4 and 5 would be a total of 9. And when I take 5 more away, that puts me at negative 5. One thing that could help me from the rules here, I'm combining a positive with a negative. So I know they're going to cancel each other out. They're going to fight. And then the numbers, the absolute value is going to win, whoever's got the bigger one. And here there are more negatives than there are positive units. So I'm going to get a negative answer. But four of those negative units will get canceled out. So as I lose four of the negative nines, now I only have five of the negative nines left. So this example is pretty straightforward. Been doing this for a while. 7 plus 5 is 12. That's just an example. When I add two positives, they just make a bigger positive answer. Negative 2 plus 1. If I'm at negative 2 and I add 1, I won't get all the way back to 0, but I'll be closer. I'll now be at negative 1. I'm not going to keep going on this. I think this is application of these three rules. If you are stuck, if you're struggling, two pieces of advice. Number one, you could use number lines. I didn't show that here. Number lines are one way to understand this. And number two, if you need help and you want one-on-one -on -one support with this, as always, please feel free to email me. My email address is ddoherty3, as you can see coming up on the screen, at bostonpublicschools.org. Thanks for watching towards the end of the video. Thank you for continuing working hard and growing your math brain over the summer.